And we want you to know today that no matter what is going on in your life, we believe that you are in the right place and that God is ready to meet you right where you are. So welcome and, and Rachel, and. today is fall kickoff here at Eagle Brook Church. That's right. And if you don't know what fall kickoff is, <laughs> all it is. Because you might not. <laughs> you might not, especially if you're new. It's just the launch of our ministry year. You know, it's great to have a stopping point and a starting point. This is ours where we kick things off. It's kind of like our New Year celebration. Yeah, kind of like the New Year of our ministry. Year. Yeah. Do we have anything special planned for the service surprises? Or? Yes, of course, but we're not going to spoil it. That's the right answer. It's fall kickoff time at Eagle Brook Church in Centerville, Minnesota, with nine huge multi-sites in and around the greater Minneapolis area. And of course, the ubiquitous online church service, where there's going to be special worship service surprises. Hello, Bezel T3. It's very common for churches to have a fall kickoff Sunday where the congregation is clued into the plans for the church body after the summer break. Perhaps a new Sunday morning education class is being offered, or a new preaching series, perhaps a different mission emphasis, or some other bit of info that needs to be announced. In smaller churches, this is usually done during a time of fellowship, maybe with a time of enjoying a breakfast or brunch before the worship service. But in many megachurches, this occurs during the worship service, such is the case at Eagle Brook. But here, the emphasis is not on announcing new classes or a new youth program, but rather, wait for it, entertainment. Yeah, with that, we're going to start our service. Happy fall kickoff. Happy fall kickoff, everybody. Enjoy the service. Let's have some more fun. <laughs> Let's see. Let's take some black. Mon cher Mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you today. Now we invite you to relax at a safe distance from your neighbors and enjoy quarantine, a musical melange. Be our guest. We confess, 2020 is a test. Take our schedules, make them Zoom calls. There's no reason to get dressed. 525,600 cheeses. 8,000 chicken wings with flaming hot sauce. Don't touch the handle of that bathroom door. Don't eat the popcorn that fell on the floor. Don't let your droplets fly free in the schools. These are a few of the new COVID rules. Distance dating, it happens so fast. Distance dating, I hope it will last. I met a girl, she seems really fine. We'll probably meet in 2021. When the Now, on the one hand, it's really quite impressive that Eagle Brook has the talent and resources to produce something like that. I mean, that wasn't cobbled together in a day. But it does raise an important question. What is the motivation of the leadership of Eagle Brook to invest in and present what can only be called entertainment during the worship service? If it's to attract new attenders by blowing them away with a really exciting worship experience, then I fear that they have not considered the unintended consequences. Those being, whatever you use to get people in the door, you're going to have to keep giving it to them to get them coming back. If I might quote from the words of the rock band Nirvana and their song Smells Like Teen Spirit, here we are now, entertain us. You know, there's a strong parallel to John chapter 6 and what's going on here. In John 6, we have Jesus feeding the 5,000 with five loaves of bread and a few fish. The people respond to this miracle by saying, This is indeed the prophet who has come into the world. Then Jesus, perceiving that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, withdrew again to the mountain by himself. The next day, the crowd followed after Jesus and finds him. Jesus says to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you are seeking me, not because you saw the signs, 
but because you ate your fill of the loaves. In other words, Jesus says to them, I did not come among you to be a heavenly fast food drive through Then Jesus says, do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him, God the Father has set his seal. The people then say to him, what must we do? What must we do to, to be doing the works of God? Listen to this. Jesus answered them, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. Now that's a gift of faith, by the way. It's not a work that we do. So they said, well, what, what, are, what miracle will you do for us that we will see it and believe in you? What work will you perform? You see, yesterday's miracle was just like yesterday's newspaper. It's, it's tired and forlorn. They want a new miracle. It is here that Jesus begins some of the hardest sayings that he has ever said to the people. He tells them, truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. When many of the, his disciples heard it, they said, well, this is a hard saying, and who can listen to it? No more miracle, just hard teaching. And what was the result? Well, we're told in verse 66 of chapter 6, after this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer walked with him. It's the same story with bigger and more exciting worship experiences. You have to keep upping the amperage to keep them coming back. Yes! Oh my goodness! Well, hey everybody, I seriously, I, I'm blown away by the people I work with. They are some of the most talented and creative people uh, in the world. It is so fun to see what they come up with each and every time. But welcome to Eagle Brook, all of you. Now, like I said, no small task to put an 11 minute video together like that. But really, what does an 11 minute COVID-19 quarantine video have to do with the worship of the most holy? most wise, most powerful, most infinite triune God. We got a great rest of the hour together. We're gonna to spend some time singing together and then we're gonna hear a message from our senior pastor, Jason Strand. We got a great rest of the hour singing together and hearing a message from a brand new series. Now listen to those words, we got. It's as if the idea of the divine service where Christians speak of God, speak to God through prayers and song confession, repentance, and praise, and God speaking to his children through his word and baptism and the Lord's Supper is totally non-existent. As we kick off a brand new message series called Your Future Self Will Thank You. A brand new message called Your Future Self Will Thank You. Here is the intro for said message. Everybody, welcome to Eaglebrook Church. Really good to have you with us today. If you're at one of our campuses or you're taking this message. Now, I'm very weary of any sermon title that has the word self in it. So we will pick up examining this fall's Eaglebrook Church kickoff message when we get together next time.